hey guys welcome to green learner uh, i hope all of you are doing great so in this video we are going to see how we can use spring boot with groovy language groovy if you don't know it is a new language that is on top of java which runs on the jvm java virtual machine same as java but it comes with some improvements in java that which you can see on the internet the advantages of groovy over java and where groovy is used so spring boot provides support uh, for java kotlin and groovy so in this video we are going to see how we can create a simple rest application a single endpoint with groovy quickly how fast we can create that so let's go ahead and start so spring gives us many ways to create a simple project uh, which from where we can start so this is start spring io where you can go and configure what you want so these are the things first you need to project which build you want i want gradle you can go ahead with maven also language java kotlin and groovy these are the three supports so in this video we are focusing on groovy so i'll select groovy spring boot version which we one you want 2.2 216 is a uh, recent ga general availability so it is the best option to select okay so this is the project metadata that you can select com.gl i'm saying green learner artifact i'm saying it groovy hello world. okay so this is the dependency where I need to select so where it's sufficient for simple application so I'll go ahead with this only so options Groovy hello world demo demo project for a spring boot with Groovy I can change the description and this is the name of the package com to you Groovy hello world and this is the packaging and this is the java version support that you can select accordingly which you want i have given packaging jar and java version 8 so that's it we have selected all the required configuration go ahead and generate the project so when you click on the generate project it creates a zip file and gets downloaded so let's go ahead here and extract this okay so i'm extracting this to groovy hello world so for development purpose ide i am using uh, intellij idea you can use eclipse or spring tool shoot also so wrong application got selected so let's get it open and i'll go ahead and open our application that was that we have just downloaded hello world with groovy I'm going navigating to that location downloads and this groovy hello world okay so use auto import this make sure it is selected so that dependencies gets downloaded automatically okay so okay so project is getting imported into the IDE so let's see the skeleton that has been generated so gradle this is the wrapper gradle wrapper that is that comes with the project this is the src and this is the dependency that are getting downloaded so i think all the dependencies have been downloaded very quickly so this is the project structure main test test where you write test main groovy uh, when you are creating java you see here java so here we are creating groovy so we are saying groovy so groovy hello world so you see name of the application groovy hello world application dot groovy not dot java so in groovy you do not need to add semicolon so it is not there okay so so ceremonies boilerplate code has been removed from the spring uh, from this language groovy syntaxes which uh, has been taken care of by the groovy compiler so when you read about groovy you will see the advantages of the groovy over java okay so this is the main application that has been created and public also comes default so you see main application is always public so in java by default it is default access modifier but in groovy by default it is public modifier okay so let's go ahead and create the controller i'll create groovy class 
groovy controller okay so groovy controller dot groovy has been created so i'll add fun and notation rest controller this is added so you see this comes in package org spring web bind annotation rest controller okay let's create the uh, endpoint okay so I'm go let's create one employee return type keep employee get name get employee okay so i'm passing its path Path variable is something which allows you to get the name from the URL itself. itself. You will see in a while string name. So, okay, so employee class is needed. So, let me go ahead and create the employee class. Create class employee. Okay, so hello world, okay, no problem. In the same package, you can create. So, let me give it some attribute private string name. private int is give it is and create the so we have got this employee class and so let's go ahead and create this so we don't need to explicitly say the return type in groovy so that is why it is not complaining about that we are not returning anything so let's go ahead and create the object okay so i want new employee uh, i'll go ahead and create uh, name i'll pass name and the second thing i want to determine the age so i'll apply a logic dot size into 10 so what will be the length of the name multiplied by 10 will be the size of the name so let's go ahead and create the constructor so it is not it is also not complaining about the whether constructor is there or not so this is all the groovy is okay so let's i want to take both the parameters in constructor so constructor is created so let's see new employee name so by default what will be the last one that will be returned automatically right so this is it so create add the annotation get mapping name it emp and uh, inside give it name so this is the path variable that will be mapped with this one okay this 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 right so that's it we are done so let's run the application and see how it is going so all the dependencies i wanted to show you the build.gradle okay so this is the build.gradle that has been created automatically this is the dependency starter web that we added this is the groovy support that is their implementation that gets added by default spring test is there maven central this is the repository that is used to download all these dependencies so we added only three these different these three dependencies but internally it configures all these dependencies and gets downloaded automatically for us which is required for the application so let's go ahead and run the application this is the main application that i need to run okay so just run it it is building the application so first time it takes some time subsequently it will be fast so wait for it to build okay so it is building so okay so this is the gradle wrapper that gets with the project and this is the readme and build.gradle and settings you can see this root project name and all these plugin management comes so this is see the logs startup logs is starting this this is a warning that comes tomcat initialize by default it is coming at it so tomcat is internally embedded with this new boot so this application is started in this second so see how quickly startup is so it is on local host 8080 and name so let's go ahead and access it 8080 so emp give the name so suppose i want to give the name Arvin. so let's see see i got it 
I got it name Arvin and is I determined it this 60 okay so for the JSON view I have installed one Chrome plugin Chrome plugin that formats the JSON for me you can add that also so this is the name that I got it so I want I can give it some other also so I will get the object according the name and I use 120 that I had written in the logic so that's you saw how quickly we can create the application with the spring boot with groovy also okay so this has uh, no, so far we have covered spring boot with java groovy and in the next videos I will try to create the kotlin one okay so go ahead and add more endpoints and play around with the spring boot and groovy and let me know if you have any concern or question in the comment section i'll try to come as fast as possible thank you bye bye see you in the next video bye